My name is Karen, and this is my Gritty Blessing Story. My husband and I were married six years before we had children. And those years were some of the best years of our marriage. We then started our family and had two children, and those first 10 years were were true joy. We were so in love and um, we're so happy to have a family. A year after our son was born, my husband needed to have some surgery and we were hopeful that the surgery would relieve some nerve pain that he was having. In the months following the surgery, we realized that um, this nerve damage was permanent and that it could not be repaired. To manage the chronic pain that he felt day in and day out, he was prescribed many different painkillers. And these painkillers, while they did help manage the pain, had many negative side effects. And over a period of years began to change my husband's personality. Um, they're also highly addictive. So each time a pain medication was changed, our family experienced uh, his withdrawal from those medications. There was one evening in particular where my husband's pain was extreme. And it was heartbreaking to see him endure this kind of pain. I put my children to bed and I helped him to bed. And I went to the kitchen to wash dishes. And as I was in the kitchen, I felt so alone and I just dropped to my knees and I cried out to God. I asked him why. I told him that I was so tired of being a caregiver and that I couldn't do this anymore. And as I sat in the middle of my kitchen floor, I sensed a strong presence. I knew that God was in the kitchen with me and he allowed my heart to hear him speak. His question to me was, do you want relief or do you want righteousness? I didn't exactly understand what he meant by asking me if I wanted righteousness, but he did allow my heart to understand that while I was striving to be a Proverbs 31 wife and mother, I was striving to do it all in my own strength, and that if I were to have the energy to continue the journey that lay ahead, I needed to fully surrender. The months and years continued to pass, and my husband's health continued to deteriorate. The pain got worse, the options for treatment seemed to decrease. In 2019, my husband had some routine tests, and one of those tests indicated that he had gastric cancer, which is stomach cancer. The oncologist shared that they felt the cancer had come from the many years of him being on the pain medications. They also shared with us that he had three months to live. Those next three months were so messy. They were so hard. He spent a month after the diagnosis in in-home hospice and the cancer spread to his brain. And at that point, I was no longer able to take care of my husband in our home. And I had to place him in a nursing home. And I remember one evening as I was leaving the nursing home, I, I was in such despair, I was exhausted, and I was really feeling hopeless. It was a gray December afternoon and I was leaving the parking lot and I looked up into the sky and I saw the glow of a sunset. I was confused. I didn't really understand why the sunset was there on this gray afternoon. 
And once again, I sensed a strong presence in my car that, that God was there. And it was very similar to the presence I experienced in my kitchen five years earlier. And once again, God allowed my heart to hear him speak. And he told me that my husband was now in his hands that I had chosen righteousness and that my days as a caregiver were coming to an end. My husband passed three days later. In the three years since my husband has passed, God continues to heal my heart. There is still a very big hole in my heart but God is filling it. He brings me relief and the knowledge that my husband is now healed and with him brings healing to me.